cup. Hi, welcome to our second cooking demo for Everyday Paleo. And Jane's going to tell us what we're making today. Except for he's eating frozen blueberries. <laughs> what are we making, Jay? Albondiga soup, in English, meatball soup. That's right, we're making albondiga soup, which um, is a Mexican soup made with meatballs. And we're going to do a really simple version so um, you all can try it at home. And so what we're going to start with first is um, the base for the stock that the meatballs are going to cook in. And right here I have five cloves of garlic and I have one shallot. And shallots are French onions and they're smaller than regular onions but they're pretty powerful. Um, so if you don't have a shallot, you could use one large purple onion instead. So I'm going to mince the garlic up. You want to do this, Jay? Okay. Okay. Nice big chunks. Nice. <laughs> Got to get some force in there. I'll finish it off. Okay. So we're going to mince the garlic, and then we're also going to do the same with the shallot. Give it a couple more wax. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So this is going to be the base for our soup, as well as some of the garlic that's going to actually go into our meatballs. So I'm going to take half of the garlic and add it to my ground beef that I have waiting here to prepare the meatballs. And I have two pounds of grass-fed beef, and I'm just taking half the garlic and I'm going to just add that directly into our meat. And then I'm going to go over to our stove, and I have a soup pot here waiting for us, and this is going to be what our soup cooks in. I'm going to go ahead and put this on to about medium heat, and I'm going to add in about four tablespoons of olive oil. And then to the olive oil, we're going to add the garlic and the onions, and we're going to start sweating that down. So while those sweat down, we're going to start making our meatballs. And meatballs are great because little hands can get in and really help with meatballs. It's a fun thing to prepare. So here, like I said, I've got my two pounds of grass-fed ground beef. We added, it's about two tablespoons or two cloves of minced garlic. And then we're going to just add some spices. So first thing we're going to add is some cumin. So I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of ground cumin. And it goes just a smidge more. And then we're going to put in some oregano, some dried oregano. We're going to do about two tablespoons of dried oregano. And then we're going to put just a dash of red pepper or cayenne pepper. Cayenne's really spicy, so if your family likes it spicy, you can add a little more. Um, we like it spicy, but it's still not too, too hot. So a couple dashes of cayenne, probably about an eighth of a teaspoon. So I'm going to use some fine ground black pepper, but you can use whatever pepper you like, if you like fresh ground pepper. And I'm going to put in probably about two tablespoons of the pepper. And then about a teaspoon of sea salt as well. All right, well that is waiting for us. I'm going to just go mix up our garlic and our shallots. All right. So those are looking good. We're going to just let those sit for another couple minutes before we add our water to the pot for the soup. And now we're going to come on back over and we're going to start actually forming our meatballs. So the shallots and garlic look like they're ready for us to go ahead and add the water to the pan, which is going to be our broth for the meatballs. So after those have cooked down for about three minutes, we're going to actually add 10 cups of water. And you can also use half water, half chicken stock. But because the meatballs are going to actually cook in the water, it's going to make a nice broth on its own. So I'm going to use just water. So it will actually soak up the flavor from the meatballs and from the fresh vegetables that we're going to add to the broth as well. So now we've got 10 cups of water with the shallots and the garlic. And we're going to let that come to a boil while we work on our meatballs. So we've got our spices, and now with our hands, we're going to actually mix this all together. So this is kind of a messy job here, but it's really the only way to do it. So we want to make sure we get all the spices evenly mixed throughout our ground beef. 
In traditional albondigas soup, or the meatballs actually have white rice, so we're just omitting that. And some of them have breadcrumbs too, so obviously none of that. So we're not going to add any other fillers, just the meat and the spices. And this is starting to look pretty good. All my little helpers have ditched me, so it looks like <laughs> I'm going to be on my own making the meatballs. Sometimes they're really into it, and sometimes they're not, which is okay. Okay, that looks just about right. So this is about what your meat mixture should look like before you're ready to start forming it into meatballs. But before we get these into the soup pot, we want to add our vegetables first. So the vegetables that we're putting into our meat, we have, right here I have five carrots, and these carrots look pretty funny, but these are carrots I found at the farmer's market yesterday, and they're, I'm not sure if what the variety is called, but they're purple on the outside and orange on the inside. So we're going to use these. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the carrots into our water. And we're also going to add two cups, or actually it's two and a half cups of shredded purple cabbage. And then I have five of these small tomatoes. I used um, three red and two yellow, but that equates to be about two and a half cups as well. So I'm going to add those in. And then we're going to give that a stir. And this is almost boiling, and we want to wait until the water is nice and hot before we drop those meatballs in. And we're also going to season up the broth just a little bit with the same spices that we used to season up the meatballs to keep that flavor consistent. So this time we're going to use the cumin again, but just about a teaspoon, or sorry, a tablespoon. And then again, we're going to use about a tablespoon of the oregano, a little bit of the pepper, just to your liking, and finally, another teaspoon of salt in the soup. It's really colorful and beautiful at this point. And almost ready to drop in those meatballs. But before we put in the meatballs, we have to add my secret ingredient, which is El Pato Jalapeno Salsa. I just blogged a recipe that I made recently with the enchilada sauce from El Pato. And this is the salsa, and all it is is tomato puree, water, chilies, onions, garlic, salt, and spices. So I'm going to go ahead and dump in that whole can to give it just a little extra kick. Stir that up, and then we're ready for the albondigas. All right, so I'm going to bring the whole bowl over, and this is where I really wish I had my kids, but someone turned on a movie, so again, I'm on my own. So let's get a little light on the subject here. So with the meat mixture, I'm going to take about golf ball size portions of the meat and just in my hands, form those into little meatballs, and then just drop them right into the soup, like that. Okay, I'm adding my last couple of meatballs here into our soup, and as you can see now, it's really boiling, so I'm going to put in the last one here, and then we're going to turn it down so it's not going to boil over to about medium. And we don't want to stir it right away because it'll probably disturb some of those meatballs. So I'm just going to make sure that they're all covered with the water. It looks like we're good. And we're going to let this sit here and simmer for 30 minutes. And then we'll check to make sure our meatballs are done and check to see if we need to add any additional spices to the broth. And then we'll be ready to eat. So we'll see you back in about 30 minutes to see how our soup turned out. All right, see you guys soon. Our soup is done. It's been cooking for 30 minutes, and the last couple minutes we tasted it. We did add about a teaspoon more salt to the broth. Other than that, I think it turned out great. It's a bit spicy, so if you don't like it too spicy, I would recommend only adding half of the El Pato. Otherwise, I think we're good to go. So as you can see, all the veggies have cooked down, and those meatballs have floated up to the top. So I'm going to plate up, or actually serve up a dish of this here. 
I think three meatballs per bowl is probably pretty good for most folks to start with before they come back for seconds. And I'm going to top that off with some of the veggies here and a little more broth. Alrighty, this is looking pretty good. Okay, now to make this soup really special, I like to add at the end a little bit of fresh cilantro on top. That way you don't lose any of the cilantro flavor. So if you cook it in the soup, it just kind of goes away. And then also a few pieces of diced avocado. And we're ready to eat. Now I just need to go find those kids. This is one of the best soups I've had, even though I've only tried the broth. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. I will. Bro, what do you think, buddy? Bye-bye. You know, I am going to try the meatball and vegetables. What do you think? Good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> so, even though the kids didn't really show up to help me this time, they obviously always show up to eat. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Enjoy.